Good morning. Welcome to another episode of The Safari Guy with me, John Harvey. Once again, bright sunshine, beautiful day here in St. Pete, Florida. Um, high 80 degrees, very, very fortunate. Uh, and I certainly don't take it for granted. Um, yeah, wow, well, look at that. So yeah, I, I have been told that I need a new hat, need to invest in a new cap. So I've just ordered some, um, they'll be coming soon. So maybe next time you see me, I'll have a nice new branded hat on. I wanted to run through some of our um, our destinations that we that we uh, book trips to throughout Africa. So so when we when we book trips, we usually go to East and Southern Africa. So countries where there, there's wildlife, um, national parks, protected wildlife. So that might, that would be Kenya, Tanzania, um, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, South Africa, Namibia. They they're the key places that we would um, arrange trips to. Obviously there are beach add-ons and uh, Indian Ocean Islands as well, places like Zanzibar, Pemba, Mafia Island in the Indian Ocean. Um, further afield, Mauritius, Seychelles, and the coast of Mozambique. That, that would be our, our kind of our, our core locations that we're booking regularly for people. And, and it's often um, combined, so we may do multi-countries. Um, I forgot to mention Uganda, Rwanda for the mountain gorillas and other wildlife. And, and these areas combine really well together. So you may get somebody that, that wants to see the gorillas in Uganda and then fly across uh, to do a safari in Kenya or Tanzania. They work, they work really well together. When you're combining regions, it's quite easy. So, um, you know, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, all those East Africa destinations, perhaps with a, an add-on to Zanzibar, works really, really well. And then the Southern Africa areas, um, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Namibia, South Africa, combining those regionally, that works really well also. We do also mix the two up, East Africa and Southern Africa. Now the logistics could be a little more complex and, and, and take a little bit of time, but um, yeah, they, they work really well. So um, any of those countries can combine together. I guess it depends on, on, on time. A lot of people have limited um, a vacation time. Some people only have two weeks for the year. So, so time is a big factor. Budget, you know, the cost of, of, of these regional flights, regional flights even, if I can get my words out, and getting around, that, that always adds up. So combination of factors, time, cost, and season. When you're going up to East Africa, it may not be the right time of year uh, to be down in Southern Africa. So. Um, and also the interest of the individual it depends what you want to do, what you want to see, where you want to go. Um, so, what, what I wanted to do over the next few videos is, is to just give you an overview of, of each different um, country uh, as, to, as to what you can expect, what, what they have to offer. So, we'll start with Kenya in East Africa, um, kind of one of the very first safari destinations. It's a, it's a very mature safari location, very well developed. The infrastructure works well, some fantastic camps. Um, the scenery is, is, is prime Rift Valley scenery, so it's really quite spectacular. Um, you know, you've got lakes, mountains, open plains, um, rivers. It, it really is quite special. So entering into um, Kenya, uh, Nairobi, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is, is the gateway. That, that's where you will arrive. And depending on where you're coming from, um, you can get a flight arriving early morning or in the in the late evening and there are a range of hotels within 15 minutes to an hour from the airport 